And good evening. The burning dispute between Brown County Sheriff and Coroner is about to get even hotter tonight. The sheriff is asking for a criminal investigation into the coroner's activities in a very controversial case. Nine on your side's Tom McKee is live with the reasons for the clash and reaction to it. Well, Sheriff Dwayne Weninger and Coroner Dr. Judith Farno have butted heads quite a bit the past year during the jailhouse death case of Zachary Goldson. Now, though, with the grand jury finding that there's no probable cause for any criminal charges against five deputies, the sheriff is taking off the gloves and coming out swinging. A lot of evidence in the Zachary Goldson case has been made public during the year-long investigation over whether he was strangled or took his own life in a jail cell. Brown County Sheriff Dwayne Weninger is pointing the finger directly at Dr. Judith Barno and her husband Dennis. Some of the stuff that was released out, the photographs right from the jail cell and some of the uh, information, only BCI and her office knew and it did not come from BCI and it did not definitely come from our office. The sheriff says he feels that hurt the investigation and amounted to obstructing official business. He wants the Brown County prosecutor and Ohio Attorney General to take a look. And let them make a determination because I feel there's been laws been broken. Other disputes centered on whether surveillance video was altered. The grand jury said it wasn't. Was an outside agency promptly called to take over the case? The grand jury said it was. Should Zachary Golson have been on suicide watch? The grand jury cited Golson letters saying he was sad, depressed, mad, and hurt, facing 14 years in prison and considered suicide by cop. Yes, he had some disturbing issues, but as far as he was examined by, you know, three different physicians and not one of them ever said that you know, he needed to be on suicide watch. So what's next in this dispute? The sheriff says he hoped things won't escalate, but fears they might. And a lot of people call it a feud. I do not call it a feud. All I have done with those people is, uh, you know, defend myself for the past 10 years. Dr. Varno's term in office has been tumultuous. She survived a citizen attempt to have her removed, and in this case issued a statement saying, it's not the coroner's role to seek or not seek indictments. That is up to law enforcement, and the decision does not affect the coroner's office or any of the current court cases. Now, Golson's mother, Christy Dennis, hasn't been available for comment other than to tell a friend that she's totally shocked by the grand jury's actions. Tom McKean, not on your side, live in Georgetown.